Okay, welcome to our second quick tutorial. This is um, using TechPlot 360 2011 R1, and we're going to be looking at taking advantage of some of the quantitative capabilities we've added to the application, specifically for looking at unsteady results. So let's, uh, for example, just take a look at the vertical wind turbine that we've shown uh, a couple of webinars now. And what we have is pressure on one of the blades. So if we chose and wanted to integrate the pressure on one of these blades, we can actually do that just by selecting the blade. In this case, you can see it's blade floor 4. And by moving into perform integration, we'll integrate the pressure. So we'll select the pr pressure value, value in this case. And we will select, instead of integrating by zones, we'll use a time strand. And then we'll select, say, the blade 4. And we'll go ahead and plot those results. So we'll go ahead and do that integration. <coughs> so what TechPlot's going to do now is, for each individual time step, it's going to integrate the pressures on that blade. And then when it's done, it will aggregate those into a plot of the results. In this case, I, I left it at the default, which is results. Okay, you can see uh, it just popped up the results here. And what we're looking at then is the pressure on the blade, integrated pressure as a function of solution time here. Um, I'll go ahead and close this momentarily just so you can see. So if we go back here now and move to a given time step, you can see that the time slider will continue to update. So that's the first thing that we've added. The second thing uh, that people want to be able to do is take a look at some the periodic nature here and see whether or not we have some harm harmonics by looking at it, the frequency domain. So to do that we're going to take advantage of 4A transform and for these data we'll go ahead and use uh, the independent variable as solution time versus result for the strand that we have and we'll go ahead and transform that. So now you can see we're looking at the frequency domain and if we just readjust the frames now, do that very quickly, now you can see that we have the two potential wind turbines, we have the integrated results, and we also have now the frequency domain, so we're actually looking at a Fourier transform. And we can take all this information now and, and bring it out to a final plot. And that's some of the quantitative capabilities we added to TechPlot360 2011 R1.